Hey guys, it's Fox the Pirate here, and I am back today. And something very, very special came in today. And it is one of the Security Breach plushies that just came out. Wow. So yes, today I did receive in the mail, I got Roxanne Wolf, one of the new Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Security Breach plushies. And, uh, yeah, so let's get started with this review. First, before we start, we gotta look at that tag. Funko, what were you thinking with this tag? Oh my gosh. This tag, you don't even have the audacity to put security breach on the tag? After all these screw-ups you've been making, and... You don't even put security breach on the tag. Enough of that. But, um, yeah, so let's get to the review. So, uh, Roxanne Wolf actually looks very, very good. The feeling on the plush feels more, like, cheaply made. Almost like the plushies you get at a carnival or, like, a fair or something cheap. And uh, I don't even really have a problem with that. It still looks good. The detail is on point. But uh, yeah. But this, on the arms and on the legs, it has like that material that like Candy Cadet would have. And that just doesn't really blend too well with the face. And the face doesn't have everything on it. And a lot of people are saying that this is a reused uh, Rockstar Foxy. So let me go get Rockstar Foxy real quick so we can compare the two. So here I have Rockstar Foxy to compare to Roxanne Wolf. And uh, yeah, there are some similarities. Um, especially the ears. The ears with both of these are the exact same, just different colors. And uh, that's kind of the only thing about these plushies that are similar. But um, with Roxanne, like, the, again, with the feeling on the plush, it's more, like, cheaply made, like, some type of felt that they used instead of the fluffy material that we all know Funko can use on their plushies. And, uh, yeah, so that's my only thing to say about the similarities between these two. So let me go get Rockstar Foxy out of the way. All right, so back to the review. So, uh, yeah, the eyes kind of poke out a little bit, not too, too much, but yeah, it still pokes out a little bit, and it looks nice, and, uh, yeah, there aren't too many details on her face, it looks kind of bland, and are you serious? What is this? Funko, 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 Funko. How many times are you going to screw up? I mean, I, that's, that's the piece, like, that's the piece of hair that goes over her eye, and that's all that's there. That's, that's it? Are you serious? That's, uh, that's, I don't even know anymore, but, uh, yeah, the details on the bottom of her look pretty good. They're mostly spot on. It's just the face that I have a problem with. But other than that, it looks good. Let's get to the back. Now moving on to the back of the plush. Here's her mane. Yeah, there's her mane. And then, uh, yeah, the it looks pretty good down there. And then, uh, yeah, so there's really not too much to see on the back. Let's see that butt tag. 2020 Scott Cawthon. And then, there we go. And yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, my rating on this plush is gonna have to be maybe a, a 7. Due to the, like, the material being kind of weird and cheaply made. And her, her face not having as many details as people want her to be. Like, we've seen her in the FNAF franchise. And she's looked very, very good. And, uh, this is kind of like a downgrade compared to that. And, uh, I don't, I mean... It still looks good. We all know who it is. It's Roxanne. But, um, yeah, so I think it looks good. I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10. Let me go. Let me know you guys' thoughts in the comment section. 
And, uh, yeah, one more problem I have with this blush before I end the video is that her eyelashes or her, like, her eyelid is on her eye. I mean, like, it's Funko, so we know, but, like, that's kind of weird. But, yeah, because Funko messes up with that a lot. So, um, yeah, I will be also getting more of the Security Breach figures. They'll be coming in one by one. Probably the next thing that will be coming in the mail is, I think, my Montgomery Gator figure and my Vanny figure and then probably my Glamrock Freddy and Monty plush that are, will also be coming in. So I did buy the entire set of plushies and figures. They will be coming in one by one because I bought them on separate days. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's all I have to say for this plush today. Let me go. Let me know you guys' thoughts on this plush. I think it looks good. I rated it a seven out of ten, like I said. And yeah, so um, wait, what? Funko. What is this? That looks like a bald spot right on top of her head. Y yeah, I I'm I'm just done with this video. But um yeah, if you guys actually did not know, let me go get another plush that I got yesterday. Let me go get that plush now. If you guys did not know, I actually got another Balloon Boy plush yesterday on Amazon. So yeah. Uh, I got this one with the tag. It does not have the Hot Topic exclusive sticker on it. But, uh, yeah, I also got this yesterday. Please do not ask for it in the comments section. Because I know a lot of you guys. And uh, you guys bug me a lot for plushies. I don't know why. It's just a problem you guys have. But it's fine. All right. Uh, yeah, let me go put him back before I do the outro. All right, guys. That is going to close out this video today. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to smash that like button. And until next time, peace.